Hello everyone, Prisgard here, and welcome back to Let's Play Mole Mania. Last time, I went over a majority of the controls in the game, and actually all the controls in the game, and all the items. And now I think it's time to move into the harder part of the game. Simply follow this path with me. Poker head, okay, we're good to come up here. So, the bonus ring, I talked about it before. And actually this bonus ring, yay! This bonus ring actually hints at the game's at the game's versus mode that I talked about in the first episode. Drop the cabbages in the holes within a lot of time to win. If you leave even one cabbage behind, he wins. So it's a bonus game against Jinbi. And to get 100%, and to get, and to win you have to get 100%, so, oh crap. Now Jinbi's a jerk where he can attack you, he can fill in your holes, and I think if he hits you, you lose time. So just move as quickly as you can, and push cap and push cabbages wherever you go. Don't bother throwing them because he's quick enough where he'll just catch you. But if you leave, no, dang it. Come get me! Haha, <laughs> you missed me. I can't really screw around this much, but uh, this game's gonna get more. I've already lost. There's a reason why I came back like I am right now. <laughs> so, after he taunts us, we'll have to leave and go right back in. So we'll try again here, and if I screw up enough, I'll probably cut till a, f a successful attempt, so to say. Uh. Anyway. Now actually, from what I remember... Ouch. Ouchies. If you could, you know, maybe not. Ouch. Ow. If I remember right, you can just put... It's simpler just to push him in. Trying to get that build up is not worth it. But there we go, we win. With breaking sound. Ouch. Dang, you win. You fireball. Here's the 20 points I promised. So those 20 points, what do they account to? What do they amount to? We're actually going to find out in a short little while. Also, that was a terrible show for the first minigame. I need to get much better at it for future for future encounters with Jinbi. And the last two cabbages of the game are right here. So let me just... Yep. Or last two of the game, go me. Of this level are right here. Anyway, man, it's like I start an episode, my commentary goes away. Anyway, we're going to try and want to plan this attack out, and I'll reset the ball. Oh, you know what? The ball has become angry. The ball is angry. Here, just stay stunned down there for a second, if you will. Stratagems. I love them stratagems, you know. Them stratagems are the best, yo. How? Well, I'm going to get lower health for this boss fight now. By one heart. I, ho I don't think that actually counts into your level completion. At least I hope it doesn't. Whatever. Go for, go for gold. Anyway. So here's the sign for the boss. Push up on it and... I got tired of waiting. So I left my kangaroo for you to play with. So he'll leave... So there's a boss, and then underneath, usually around the boss, will be your clue. Watch his shadow and place pushpins where he lands. And that's basically your big hint as to how to, uh, excuse me. And that's basically your big hint how to defeat the boss. The kangaroo boss, thankfully, is pretty simple. Just walk around, dodge his attacks, and be prepared to... I like to just... Okay, he's going to land right there. And then I recommend going underground. I'm going to fill up on hearts before I continue this fight. Oops, I kind of put myself in a corner. Now for some boss fights, you're going to need to use the fact that you can li live underground to your advantage. So you push that in the middle, pull this away so I can... Okay, he's going to go right there. 
But yeah, I do recommend you go hide underground for this guy because he'll be flopping around willy nilly. But yeah, you can just go hide underground and wait for him to finish to having his moment. You about done throwing your apples? Where are you going? And third jump, he goes up. Coming down, and we're done here. Just takes three hits to kill a boss. That's all. It's they're not, they're not hard bosses, really. At least the first few aren't. But, eh. They could be more difficult. Oh, but what the, could this cabbage be? Push. It has a kid! Zounds! Child found! And then they have these little they have these little cutscenes. I think the the first one or two let me see here. The first one or two are semi serious, but well, I say semi serious, and then later on they get a little more silly. But there we go. So, th so yes, there's your, and here's how everything's figured out. So you get. Well, you're aiming for 100 points, but completing the map is 20 points. Finding both the map and the radar, or the locator, is another 20 points. And each cabbage is worth 2 points. And then completing the bonus is another 20. So there's your 100, which is 10, 10, 20, 20, 40. It makes sense, don't worry. It's kind of like Yoshi's Island in that sense, but enough of that. Now, I will tell you that the surrender thing, if you use the surrender, if you use surrender on any level, oh, by the way, every other every other level opens up now. All but the last level now open up. Like level four, which I think level four is one of my favorite worlds, actually. But yeah, all wor worlds open up except for level eight, which is Jinbi's castle. Would stand a reason why it would not be opened right now, because you have to go get everything else. But yeah, now if you use that surrender on any room, it basically disqualifies one point from your total. So you could have done everything else in there, but because you use the surrender on one thing, it disqualifies for one point. Thankfully, I think if you press select when you go to a world, you'll, re you'll, you'll basically be able to restart the world over. But what that, what with Fall Through do? World 2. Gonna dig underground right away. Ah, things to read. Great, the things I've already talked about, he's talking about now underground here. So, okay, well, the exits themselves count for the points, not the, uh, not, com not just completing the puzzle, I should say. And here's his fourth one, complete the bonus. And Chase says about the five second deduction, so avoid Jinbi to keep your time. If you didn't get 100 points, go back and find everything you missed. And I think they at some point tell you that you can go to a level and hit select, and that's how you do it. But there's how you get that. And I love the music here, actually. Crap. I keep forgetting you have to just push at a thing. I'm Sundas. My light will blind you. I'll be waiting. Ha ha ha. Well, Sundas, eh? Sounds like Sunder, except there. Well, even then, Sunder is Sunder. I'm gonna go dig in a corner here just to be safe. But yeah, here we go. Now the puzzles get a little more impressive, so to say. I also recommend that for this first one, um, this first little bit. Actually, let me go down here. Wait, what the heck happened? Why is he. Whatever. Oh shoot! Um, I think I need that cabbage to just. Well, I'll take that. Eat the hit. Everything will. Just let me. Just eat the hit so I can get through. <laughs> I'm smart. Anyway, reading signs. Oh, if you want to get 100 points, he's talking about going back to the last room. Will you tell me about like the select thing? I think. To return to the levels okay so you can that way you can leave and go to another world and whatnot so the game is pretty smart where it actually does save your progress right where you are Let's see push that actually no I don't want that over there um let me think I've got room to mess around with on the bottom row 
Okay. Give me this. Now, usually underground, they will also give you like visual hints on where you should put stuff. Visual hints on where you should put exits, mole holes, all that jazz. Or places to dig through, I should say. It's, yeah, it's safe here. Now, I'm going to be a little bit lazy. I'm just going to kind of push that up. Actually, I should push it up one screen higher. You know, I can just do it from right here. Why am I trying to be fancy? Boop. Exit. Now we can read the sign. Okay, so, again, escape a level, or escape a room. I didn't read the whole thing, but I don't think what, I don't think I really ever used it. And... Okay, chill down there for a minute, buddy. Actually, I should have taken you with me. Why did I dig here? I should have dug here. And while I'm doing this... Bap! There we go. You know, I actually kind of screwed that up a little bit. Can I go through? No, but I found the map. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Oh, over here. That's how we do it. Again, a puzzle game. I wasn't lying to you when I said it was a puzzle game. That being said, oh boy, puzzle games. Because we know I am diverged at puzzles. Anyway, future levels, you're going to want to be a little more concerned about where you dig holes. But for right now, be a little carefree. Also, save hearts if you can, because hearts, you can come back and get uh, hearts to refill your life at any point. And hey, before we exit the room, let's do this. So, excuse me, three by six, 18 levels. All right, a little bit, a little bit bigger than the last one, but not quite as, but not quite as bad. Oh God. Can you wait down there while your buddy comes back and then get you both at once? Thank you. I mean, I get no bonus from killing them both at once. It's just glory points at that, at this rate. Dang it. Stay still. All right, now I think what I'm gonna work on is the ball first. Again, I haven't practiced, and I should actually practice more. I'll do off. I'll do it off camera. Probably by the time we get to the end of the world. By the time we get to the end of the world here. By the time we get to the end of world, whatever this is, world two. I'll probably have. I'll probably have gone back, practiced, and come back with you guys. So that way we can. Get to hiya. That way, we, that way I can go through levels just lickety split and not discuss my thought process while I'm playing the level. Let's see underground, nothing underground. Go up there, and I guess while I'm here, whatever. I just need to fling a cactus or cactus, a cabbage in there. My brain is done confirsted. Okay. So, all right. I remember. I think I remember this one pretty well. Now, what I want, a lot of what I'm doing, is just childhood memory, muscle memory, if you will. Basically, it's just like, hey, I played this when I was little. I think I can remember how to do this, but in the event I can't, in the event I can't, I mean, that's why. I mean, well, that's why we're here with this kind of thing. Okay. So we're actually. We need to be able to go up through these middle bits. Actually, go up through the middle bits. I'm a genius. We're going to dig our own holes. To China, even. Now, it's going to be risky, but I'm, I'm going to the, the, I'm gonna have to reset the ball for this anyway. I should have done this little trick sooner. Over there. And actually, with this done, if I just wait and time it right, catch! All I have to do is now just pull the ball over here and go push it from the ass end. Hey, buddy. I done diddled it! Ah, this, this part, okay. So destroy that guy to make your just make your life ten times easier, and then go hide in a hole. Oh hey, the radar. Wait, that means I can't. Oops. 
Well, ball's going in the hole. Now, so, now a little trick you can do is... Um, crap, I might be stuck here, actually. Let me reset the room. <laughs> okay. Go chill down there for a second. There we go. Throw this down there, and... Oh. Here, have your present. Okay, let's go and dig a hole here to get these done. But yeah, that's why you need to res that's why you need the whole the uh that's why you need to leave sometimes is because you'll just screw up. Thankfully the game resets like it told us it would. <sighs> I'm dumb I'm a dumb sometimes. I have to remember I need more than two tiles to move a to turn a, bro a block around. Anyway, I think Grandpa sometimes gives us helpful tips. So, basically encouraging us to go to another world if we get stuck. But, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna just tough it out and do every world as we go. Ooh, Spike's hurt. I think. So, roll a ball or cabbage onto him. Well, and they basically do stop you. It's not like you get hit. It's not like you will take a hit if you um, don't do it. Or, it's not like you'll take a hit if you try and walk across it anyway. I could have actually just kicked that up. He says, thinking back. Alright. So we're going to pull this up one, and then we're just going to kick it the rest of the way down. Good enough. Yeah, not too tough. Really a, stu a stupid simple puzzle. Also, I should have addressed this earlier, but I do want to remind you guys. Um, well, remind you guys. I should just say that... I am recording this via emulator, even though I do have, like, the normal physical copy. So, with that being said, oh yeah, that's another thing. Oh, crap, right. He just, he's like a pokey, he just walks the walls. Or a podolo. Okay, and he's already talking about, he's already talking about that, but yeah. Um, so even though I have... Even though I have a physical form of a majority of the games I'm playing, I'm I prefer to do an emulator just because it's a little easier to get everything lined up and everything. Oh, right, that okay. Now for some level, for, now for some areas. By the way, you can't get hit by enemies if you're doing this, but um, for some for some screens, you cannot quote unquote complete it unless you destroy the proper exit. So this screen will not be complete until we destroy the proper exit, which is that one to the lower right. Let him walk over, walk away, and then I'm going to go down here because down here, if you were astute with your eyes, is the way forward. Well, not the way forward. It's the way to Grandpapa. I can't remember if you have to... Nope. But this is how you get to the bonus. It is literally on a ones block screen. But I will have to save the bonus for next time. Everyone, thank you all so much for watching, and join me next time when we'll clear up level two, which I forget what it's called, and move onwards. Well, I think well, I think it's just the plan. We'll clear up level two. Take care, everyone.